Okay, suppose you want to find the measure of an exterior angle of a regular nonagon. You can't do this problem unless the nonagon refer unless the polygon we're talking about is a regular nonagon or regular polygon, meaning that every exterior angle will have the same measure. Um, so let's create a regular nonagon first of all. Let's see. Six, uh, wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so here I have a regular nonagon. I'm going to create some exterior angles real quick, hopefully. Boom, 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 and we know they're not perfectly accurate, but we get the idea. Okay, so in a previous video, we discovered that the exterior angles of any polygon, regular or not, always have the same sum. What is the, so what are these um, nine exterior angles going to add up to? Well, we know they're all the same. X, 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 X. Because it's regular, we know they're all the same. So what does that nine X equal? The exterior angles are always have a sum of 360. So that means that each one of them is a 40 degree angle. Piece of cake. Okay, suppose you're asked to find the measure of an interior angle of a regular nonagon. Well, heck, we could use this fancy formula. Oh, the interior angles will be n minus 2 times 180 because there would be, and it would be 7 times. Um, 180 would be the interior angles of a nonagon, and then um, we could divide that by the number of um, interior angles there are. Sure, we could do that, but that would be crazy because it's so much easier. Well, let's go ahead and do that just for fun. And so a nonagon at n equals 9. So this is 7 times 180 divided by. Uh, divided by 9. So the 180 divided by 9 would be 20 times 7 would equal 140. But that is um, a waste of energy to remember this because remember this picture back here? If we figure out the measure of an exterior angle, the interior angle, y, is a, forms a linear pair with the exterior angle. So if the exterior angle is 40, the interior angle is 140. We don't need this formula. If you want to find the measure of an interior angle of a regular of a regular polygon, you find the measure of an exterior angle first, because that's just going to be 360 divided by 360 divided by however many vertices there are, however many exterior angles there are, and then subtract from 180 to get the interior angle. So this formula right here is pointless.